When I originally reviewed Tetris Effect on the PS4, I called it my favorite version of Tetris. It was an evolution to a timeless classic that, with the touch of Tetsuya Mizuguchi's game design, crafted one of the most iconic video game experiences I've had the pleasure of playing. Now on PC, let's see how well that's translated over. The definition of Tetris Effect is the phenomenon of doing something so often that it begins to create images in your mind, sometimes even creating dreams in your subconscious. This occurrence was the foundation for what the game Tetris Effect would try to recreate. The same feelings one would feel after playing Tetris for long periods of time and essentially getting lost to the gameplay. Tetsuya Mizuguchi's bread and butter has always been these music reaction based games that use sound and sensory imagery to create extraordinary experiences. It was prominent in his previous games Luminous and Res, and Tetris Effect is no different. Using traditional Tetris gameplay along with the original music, beautiful looking visuals, and an insane VR experience, Tetris Effect enhances the long established series. It's broken up into two game modes, Journey and FX. The main campaign is called Journey and it takes you on a beautiful and magical adventure across 30 levels. Each one of these levels had its own unique music and visual theme that evoked different emotions in me while I was playing. The deep song called Connected tells a story of a mother and her child's bond, that no matter how hard life is, no matter what turn it takes, their love will last forever. Along with the theme of life and earth in the background, it all connects to create this beautiful image and message of relationships and bonds and people. That's the general theme of Tetris Effect. Feelings. The feelings that you get from playing each one of these levels that evoke different sensations in you. That all comes from the way levels are designed. Visuals and music react to your actions in the Tetramino grid. Drop a Tetramino and hear a chime, clear a line and hear a bell. Reach a certain score and the entire level evolves into the next level. This assortment of synchronization along with the game's presentation would get me to feel genuine emotional reactions. I felt happy singing and playing along to It's All Connected in the deep level, while feeling this sort of melancholy sadness in the Aurora Peak level. Underneath all the glam and glamour of Tetris Effect though is still mostly classic Tetris. It's a puzzle game that has you dropping different shaped tetraminos into a grid as you try to clear lines and continue your score. Over time your score increases and you notice that the speed of the tetraminos begin to increase and the game gets progressively more difficult. By default you have features like hold and your tetramino cue turned on, letting you both hold a piece for later while also seeing what the next tetramino piece will be. Both of these can be turned off though for anyone just wanting a more vanilla experience. One new mechanic for the series is the zone. As you begin to clear lines you'll notice that your zone meter at the bottom left will start to fill up. With the press of your triggers you can activate it sending you into this trance like area where cleared lines go to the bottom of the grid. Time is slowed down and for the first time ever you can clear lines above a tetris. It's mesmerizing and a new strategic factor for the gameplay. Completing journey only takes about 2 hours depending on your skill level and difficulty. Despite the short campaign I didn't really feel like there was a lack of content here, as it was more quality over quantity. As soon as I originally completed the game, I essentially bumped up the difficulty and went back for round 2. As for the effects mode, that's the online experience. All the gaming you do offline and online earns you XP that then goes towards your rank online. This isn't traditional online multiplayer though, instead it's more focused on high scores and points over direct head to head multiplayer. When you first start it up, you'll be asked to pick your location and pick an icon that represents you. This has you representing your town sort of among the world of Tetris Effect players. It's all very community and leaderboard heavy with challenges every single week. While I do miss the traditional direct head to head multiplayer, I still found the online experience entertaining. I can sort of see why it's missing too. Your opponent's blocks would throw a wrench into the whole synchronization with the music, and the split screen could get a bit too much for just having two players on screen with all those visuals. Outside of that, there's an assortment of different types of playlists themed after the music and gameplay features that sort of act like a Spotify playlist. It's certainly a different take to the online experience, but an enjoyable one. Tetris Effect is the visual joyride that raises the bar on Mizuguchi's game design. Yes, it's still Tetris, but the feeling of the Tetris Effect is so perfectly recreated by the visual experience that's constantly happening around the grid. Throughout the journey mode, you'll be taken to the coastside beaches, depths of space, and all sorts of exotic locations. The variety of locations and themes were fantastic and only further increased the emotions that the music had me feeling. Just like the console version, you can still use the analog stick to zoom in and out of the board, or even change up the angle to your liking. If the effects are a bit too much for you, you can turn them down a bit, but it won't completely shut them off. On the opposite side, you can actually crank them up now for a more particle heavy experience as compared to the console version. You get a lot more control with the visuals on the PC release, and if you have a PC with parts built in the last few years, you'll have no problem running this at 4K60.
What is there to say? I love the soundtrack here. Mezuguchi's games are renowned for their attention to detail with music and Tetris Effect is at the peak of it all. This game is close to reaching its one year mark and I'm still listening to its soundtrack on YouTube. The songs Connected and Metamorphosis remain to be my favorite tracks in the game and some of my most played music in 2018 and 2019. If you haven't played Tetris Effect or have heard the soundtrack yet, you're in an amazing position where you're able to jump in blindly and I highly recommend you do so. Tetris Effect is my favorite version of Tetris. It takes the timeless gameplay we grew up with, playing and reimagining it in unforgettable ways. When a simple puzzle game like Tetris can make you feel genuine happiness and sadness, you know it's a special game. Sure, I would have loved to see the more head-to-head -head competitive mode, but what is here is still outstanding and having it on PC only makes the experience more accessible to gamers all around the world and I'm all for it. Oh, it's